how to update and add your payment information on the KOL program correctly. Hello everyone, this is Uju from the Jumia KOL program. Today, we are going to take you through this video to show you how to use the Jumia KOL platform correctly and update your information. But before we start, what is Jumia KOL? Jumia KOL, formerly known as the Jumia Affiliate Program, introduces a new concept of partnerships by expanding the scope of the program to be not limited to only affiliates, but includes influencers, companies, or those who run their own app, as they can easily join in the KOL program and make some money. So let's start. After logging into the KOL dashboard, you will find on the upper left beside your name an arrow. Click on it to see the profile info and account details. This section reflects all of the information needed in order to complete your registration and process your payment. So please make sure this information is accurate and up to date to receive your payments on time and correctly. In profile info, please make sure to update correctly your full name your country, your phone number, and the website you're using to promote Jumia. In case you want to change your password, you can click on Change Password. It will ask you for the old password and insert in the new one, confirm, and then change the password. Account Details. This is a section where you fill your address and select your payment method. Starting with the company info. Here you will find the KOL ID. This ID is a unique identifier number. So in case this ID is requested from the Jumia KOL team, you can double click on the ID, then copy it and send it to the team for further help and to assist with your inquiry. By default, the company name is your first name and last name that is inserted already in the profile info section. You can keep it as it is in case you're an individual, but in case you're a company, please update it to the correct company name. The tax ID is a mandatory field, so please make sure this is accurate. And in case you're an individual or you do not have a tax ID, Please insert your national ID number, but do not leave it empty. Also make sure that the phone number and the website you are using is correct to make it easier for the KOL team to reach out to you and to provide you with the best promotion deals. Also, the information in the company address section is mandatory in order to process your payments smoothly. So if you're a company or an individual, fill in all the data correctly, including the address in detail. The postal code, the city, and the country. Please note that the selection of your country depends on the commission currency you will be paid with. For example, if you're based in Nigeria, by default, you get paid in Naira. But in case you're based in Germany, you'll have the option to receive it in euros or US dollars. Payout details. As we said, depending on the country selection, you will find the payment method. So in case you want to get paid to your bank, please select the bank option and fill in the data requested. The bank name is the name of the bank where you want to receive your commission. The iBank or bank account number, this is the bank account number and not your bank card number. SWIFT, this is your SWIFT number. You can contact your bank to get the SWIFT number. Currency, by default, if you are based in one of Jumia countries that it operates in, it will be paid in the local currency. But otherwise, you either select euros or US dollars. One more point for our partners in Kenya and Ghana. You have the option to get paid through your mobile number. All you need to do is to select mobile payment method. Insert your phone number and the currency 
and then click confirm. Now you should be able to update all of your payment information correctly. If you need further information, reach out to us on kol at jumia.com.